Welcome back, everyone. Celebrating female entrepreneurs today is Women Entrepreneur Day. Research shows that girls are actively interested in becoming entrepreneurs, developing financially stable futures, and using their skills to make a big impact on the world. I spoke with Re Rebecca Latham, CEO of Girl Scouts of New Mexico Trails, to find out more about their Girl Scouts Entrepreneur Program. Joining us this morning, we have Rebecca Latham with Girl Scouts of New Mexico Trails. Good morning. Hi, Crystal. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us, Rebecca. We're talking about Women Entrepreneur Day, which is today, and it is a special day for Girl Scouts of New Mexico Trails. Let's start there. Talk, talk about the successful women entrepreneurs that come from your program. Well, you know, I think research in general just shows that girls have a very active interest in becoming entrepreneurs and developing their own financially stable future. But the stumbling blocks for girls moving forward are that, you know, they have a fear of failure. They have concerns about bringing their ideas to life. And then they have this perception that men are more likely to become entrepreneurs, which I think is just crazy. But it's very fitting that Girl Scouts on a national level has prioritized entrepreneurship for girls as young as kindergarten all the way up through 12th grade. So here in New Mexico, we've got this incredible startup culture. So our, our council has really prioritized um, our, a robust entrepreneurship program that teaches girls the fundamentals of being their own girl boss, uh, whether they're creating a cell phone stand for, from Legos or they're marketing and managing their own babysitting business. So we've got some great things happening with our, our future female entrepreneurs right here in New Mexico. Tell me how you, how you get past all those misconceptions whenever you are uh, training the next Girl Scout to be the next entrepreneur. Well, you know, people know Girl Scouts for our cookies, but they don't know very much about what goes on behind the scenes. And months before our Girl Scout cookie season starts, uh, girls are preparing. They're learning the core functions of business, customer service, financial management, marketing, even how the supply chain works. So what we found at Girl Scouts is that by teaching girls from a very early age how to build their, their own confidence in, in becoming an entrepreneur and in, you know, delivering a product that, you know, those would they can learn early on that entrepreneurship is for them, then they're much more likely to want to pursue their ideas and their dreams and become an entrepreneur as they get older. So then beyond cookies, we have badges like the Daisy Toy Business Designer Badge or the Brownie Budding Entrepreneur Badge that walk girls through the process of conceptualizing and designing a, a product, drawing or building a prototype, identifying an audience, creating a marketing plan so that, so that once they can get a, a taste for entrepreneurship, they can start building up that confidence from day one. And then as they get older, Girl Scouts are learning things like how to pitch their idea, actually stand in front of an audience and pitch their idea. And then they're also learning things like uh, the deeper elements of budgeting and financial management so that, you know, once they're able to start their own business, they have all the tools to be successful. You know, I, I, I love how, how you mentioned you, you take them from the beginning steps of one, getting comfortable with the idea, but two, catapulting them all the way to the idea of even pitching these ideas, um, which will give them a leg up on the competition as they get older, because that's what you're routinely doing often as you get older and, and start your own businesses. I didn't learn how to actually, you know, like what an elevator pitch was until I was in my late 30s, probably, you know, how to be able to take an idea and then just drill it down, drill it down, drill it down to make it impactful. The idea that my daughter, who's in third grade, can now do that just gets me so excited because she's going to be so much more prepared, as are all of our girls in New Mexico, so much more prepared to um, to be succinct and, and say what she wants and get it done. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So what are the ages for Girl Scouts of New Mexico Trails? Uh, Girl Scouts uh, start as early as kindergarten and go all the way through through 12th grade. And this again is one of our, this is one of our uh, areas of focus. It's probably, entrepreneurship is probably our least known area of focus, but here in New Mexico, we feel like it's the most important just because it's, you know, startup culture is, is so great here in New Mexico. And, you know, we want girls to know from an early age that that they can be successful right here in our state, that they can have everything they need uh, an infrastructure and investments and everything that they need to cultivate a new business right here. They never even have to consider about leaving. Uh, they just, they, they need to know from an early age how much we value and support them right here in the land of enchantment. Absolutely. If for parents at home are thinking this might be something my daughter would be interested in, how can they get a hold of you or find out more details? 
You can learn more about becoming a Girl Scout at nmgirlscouts.org. And you can always keep up with us on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, either as at NM Girl Scouts or Girl Scouts of New Mexico Trail. What a special way to celebrate Women Entrepreneur Day than to speak with Girl Scouts of New Mexico Trails. Rebecca, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Have a great Women's Entrepreneurship Day.